Okay, hello and welcome back. Um, today we'll be going over a thousand years, uh, and I'll have that artist name for you uh, by Christina Perry. Okay, so Christina Perry, a thousand years. We'll be going over that today, y'all. This is real simple and like real easy, and kind of repetitive. So pretty much once you have the first verse and the chorus, you can play through this entire song and pretty much make it make sense. This song is very popular, like at weddings and things of that nature. So if you just like play this song and, and, and really like beginners can really play this song very well because it's only a few notes. It doesn't really go that many places and it's in one of the easiest keys. And that particular key is the key of G on sax, okay? And that's G, A, B, C natural, D, E, F sharp, G, okay? F sharp is the only sharp that you will have in this particular key and it sounds just like this. All right, all right. So uh, going from the very top of the song, um, let's uh, hear it. Now, when this, these songs begin, normally you can just lay out, you know, like if you're not really an improv type, if you like really haven't learned a lot of like licks and things of that nature, you can uh, lay out. Uh, one day I'll do a video kind of just kind of going over some tips and tricks on different like things you can play on intros and all that just to kind of make the song more interesting. But for right now, we're going to focus on just uh, playing the song the way it goes uh, all the way through, okay? Uh, let's start this one out. So at this particular part, just lay out, okay? We don't have to play anything at this particular part. I'll teach y'all something a little later, something pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, so pretty simple, right? And that's gonna be the first section of this uh, song, okay? And the first section that heart beat Pro promises, ba, ba. I don't know the words, y'all, but you know, ba, 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 ba. Okay, that's G, A. I'm sorry, that's G, 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 B, A, G, 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 G. So like mel melodically, the sound G. G, G, B, A, G, 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 G. Okay, that's what you would play. This is how that would sound, okay? Okay, so that's how that particular uh, part would sound. That's just the first section. And um, uh, just G, G, G. B A G G G G. If you play that just like that, you have the first section. There you go. Uh, moving right along to section two. How to be brave? How can I love when I'm afraid? Okay. So, how to be brave? How can I love when I'm afraid? Okay, so how I'll play that section is D C B A G E, how to be brave. So just go straight down the scale and, and play D C B A G E, then D C B A B F sharp G G. Okay, so ba 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 ba. Okay. And here's how this would sound, this particular part would sound. This is section two, y'all. Okay, so ba 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 okay. Um and that's um how you would play section two. So if we put section one and section two together, here's how both sections would sound. Okay, so 
okay? And section three, if we get into section three, I'll move on to that. That's the same as section one, what you played at the beginning. So let's hear that. Two, four, watching you stand alone. So again, at that part, you can play G, 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 B, A, G, 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 G. Okay, here's how it sounds once again. Okay, uh, and we're going to move right along to section four, okay? All of my doubt suddenly goes away somehow. Okay, so all of my doubt suddenly goes away some where well, we're going to go is how instead of how we're going to go how okay so it would be uh d c b a g e d c b a b f sharp g a and it looks the same as section two but the only note that we're changing is the last note there because we're getting ready to move into the course okay so this is how this particular section would sound Okay, okay. And section five, let's get there. Um, make sure you change that last note. Um, be sure to change that last note in section four, okay? And section five is only going to be a few notes here, okay? Okay, now that's coming out of, th that's going to lead you out of the uh, verse into the chorus in section five. Uh, and those notes, one step closer. Okay, and that's E, E, F sharp, G, and F sharp. So E, F sharp. No, I'm sorry. E, F sharp, G. Oh. E, F sharp. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Let me not mess this up for y'all. Hold on. So it's four notes, I apologize. So it's E, F sharp, G, F sharp. Okay, that's that's how it goes. I apologize. I was thinking about that uh, too hard. So E, F sharp, G, F sharp, <coughs> which is a little out of my range, so I apologize. I'm not a singer to begin with, but that's how that part would go. So you play uh, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, okay, at that particular part. And that's going to lead you into the uh, the chorus part, all right? Okay, so that's the first part of the chorus, okay? And those notes would be B, D, B, B, D, B, E, D, A, G, okay? And here's how that would sound. Okay, so B, D, B, B, D, B, E, D, A, G. Okay, that's how that's how that part, that's how that particular part would sound. And it's gonna do the same thing again for section seven for the next part. Darling, don't be afraid. I love to okay, so da -da -da, da -da -da, I have loved you. Okay, so we can just do that same part. B D B B D B E D A G. Okay. And here's how that would sound. <laughs> okay. Uh, for uh, when we get to the next part. Uh, okay. So. Uh, Okay, so that's G, A, C, B natural, and E natural. And that goes. Okay. Then, love you for a thousand more. Okay. 
Can't know that. G A G A C natural B natural and D. <laughs> Okay, now all I did was just went a whole bunch of half steps down. And what half steps are is just uh, me going chromatically. So chromatic is like if I go from B to D chromatically, it's like going B, B flat, A, G sharp, G, F sharp, F natural, E, E flat, D. But that's that's talk for another time. I'll, I can kind of go over that another time. But that's what I did just going down to the, to the, uh, the D there. But it's G, A, G, A, C. B natural D. And once again, it sounds like this. Okay, and that's pretty much the whole song. If you can pretty much play the verse and chorus, you can continue just to repeat that over and over again, just real smooth, and that would be acceptable. Like, you really wouldn't have to do much else with this song. It kind of kind of plays itself. Uh, let me finish it. Once again, if I went too fast, you can just go back. The notes are going to be at the uh, bottom of the screen, so they're going to just come up as I as I uh, do the presentation of the uh, song. So uh, if you get confused, always look at the notes at the bottom of the screen because what I'm talking about is right there. Uh, I'm going to do I'm going to go over this song, uh, play it one time, just so you guys can hear how it all sounds together, and uh, I'm going to get up out of here. <laughs> So once again, with this particular song, um, you can just lay out at the beginning, and then you come in. And when you come in, try to use dynamics to really sell it, okay? So just lay out at this part. Okay, so there you go. Um, when it gets into the other part, um, just do the same thing over. Okay, so thus and forth. It's going to go. If you're hearing the singing parts, if you have a karaoke track or something like that, it'll take you through the track. So just continue just to follow along with the track with what you were just taught, and you'll be just fine with this song. This song is, is, is not very difficult. It's quite simple. So just get right through it like that, and there you go. Uh, my name is Saxophone and Shot. These are Saxophone and Shot tutorials. <laughs> I want to welcome y'all. I'm doing tutorials now. It's amazing. Uh, my cash app is uh, Saxual43. You can go ahead and support the channel out there if you would like to. And uh, we're just going to keep these tutorials rolling out. This was a real um, a simple one, but real fun one. But if y'all want to know anything else, or y'all need any other tutorials, just leave me a comment down there and tell me what y'all kind of want to learn or what y'all practicing or if you're trying to learn anything at all. And I got you, okay? Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.